try this yourself. It's extremely dangerous. What's going on guys, it's Anything to Kill. Welcome back to what is episode 3 of my Rocket League Seasons videos I do make on my channel. We are currently in 4th position in the league. We've played 3 games, won 2 of them and lost 1 of them. We scored 11 goals and we have conceded 8 of a goal difference of 3. So, uh, in this first uh, game of this episode we're going to be playing on uh, Pro, uh, like we did in the previous episode. We are playing Cyclones who've uh, lost 2 out of the 3 games they've already played this season and they have won 1 of them. So. To make sure that we can keep it obviously with Rovers and Skyhawks and uh, Rebels, we need to obviously keep winning and make sure that we uh, stop the amount of goals that we are conceding because obviously the previous game against the Bombers we did only manage to make 4-3. My team in obviously like a dimension is the Immigrants and we are funded and supported by the United Kingdom Independence, Par Independence Party. Anyway, that, that out of the way, let's get into the first game of this episode and let's hope we can manage to overcome the Cyclones. So here we are. <sighs> got a game against the Cyclones, the car that I'm using. A little bit different obviously to what it was in the last episode where I was using the Roadhog. I've gone back to one of my favourite cars that uh, I tend to use in this game and that is the Roadhog. The Octane, sorry, not the Roadhog. Um, do much much prefer it than uh, the Roadhog. And um, car looks a bit different as well. Doesn't look too shabby. Got a new antenna. Can't actually remember what it's actually uh, called so I can tell you guys about it. But it's a nice antenna and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, I felt like a, a, almost a, a bit of an innocent bystander in the last episode. I really struggled to play any part in any of my team's goals, and um, really I had to rely on my uh, teammates being the ones who was uh, providing the goods in terms of the goals that we were scoring. So hopefully we can have different luck this episode and um, play a bit more of a part. Uh, and the tires I'm using, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what they're called. One well, of my favorite ones to use are um, Severgate. They're really nice, actually. But uh, that's on my other car. You get two cars, you get an orange and blue team. But uh, no, I'm not using that one. This is just the default card that I do happen to be using on, uh, obviously, the Seasons. And this is obviously the, also the default game mode, if you was wondering. Tex has got the ball here. He's going to whip this ball in across. Unfortunately, no, I wasn't able to get to there and put a touch on the ball. It'd be really cool if this game was mode was like Rumble, actually. The one that you did see last Monday when me and my brother played. But um, unfortunately, it isn't, so we got to uh, kind of make, make do with that. Chip it in. Uh, getting involved. <laughs> he did pretty well last episode, scoring most of the goals that needed to be scored. I'm going to send it forward here. Still nil-nil. So not action-packed in terms of uh, our game at the end of the previous episode. Link in the description below will take you to all the other videos on the series so far. And as I was telling you that, Chipper makes it 1-0 to us. No assists or anything. It was just him scoring the goals. Three minutes to go in this game and we have taken the lead against the Cyclones. So that's good to see. Got uh, 10 points there, centering the ball. You do get points for doing stuff like that, which I suppose is a nice thing to see. It does obviously add, add to the, the possibility of a good reward that you might get at the end of the game. I feel like I am playing a bit a bit more of a part than I was last episode. But I mean, it, it, this is, it, there's so, so many cars on each team, it's hard to really um, play a part, to be honest. So, yeah, we're going to play another two episodes, or well, another two games in this episode, sorry. And obviously once the season is over and done with, then I will think about perhaps playing another game or just playing another game mode on Rocket League. You know, it all depends. One thing obviously that will come about a lot when you're playing on the games like this, the cars will tend to just crash into you all the time. It's like that online as well. Uh, and, you know, it's just what it is, to be honest with you. Like, you know, he wasn't seeing that one like I played my brother or anything. Um, but, like I said, that's more online stuff. So at the moment, the immigrants winning one though, that'll make the United Kingdom Independence Party very happy. Or well, they'll be very angry now because Fury has made it 1-1 and it's Chip on their team getting the accessible 1 minute and 37 seconds to go for the 8 actually. Uh, it's 2 
Oh, one one, sorry, not two one yet. Going to us, hopefully. At least we've got the ball back in their half. A sloppy goal to concede it was. Using the boost to the to an advantage right there, but I've put it into a pretty dangerous area. But heat are getting in the way of my team. So we're advancing on the field a bit, a bit a bit more now, getting back into their half where we want to be. It's felt it's felt what I was almost gonna say when it felt a chipper, but unfortunately, uh, unfortunately for them he wasn't able to get the 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 defining touch that was gonna put us into the lead. <laughs> A minute remaining in this game then. Heading for a uh, draw as it stands. Well, if I'd say it's probably a fair, a fair reflection on how the game's gone. Chip is trying to send it forward here. It's just a mad dash now to try and get the winning goal. Players blowing each other, each other up. Heat to destroying two of their opponents right there. So they're out of the game for a few seconds as they come forward now. Tex is back, thankfully. Just if we can try and get Dan Danny over in qu quickly now to try and get something out of this game. Quite, quite nip, nip and tuck. No, it looks like this game's going to end 1-1. Uh, one, one. And oh no. Of course it doesn't in Rocket League, you can't end in a draw, it's overtime. So basically, just like Golden Goal on FIFA, whoever scores the first goal will win the game. Obviously, I have to remember that there is literally no draws in this game. You either win or you lose. And that is pretty much what it is in terms of this game and the result that you'll be getting. And overtime can go on for as long as it needs to go on for. Uh, there might be a limit, but I've never really reached the limit, <laughs> and uh, hopefully we don't get this game over and done with uh, soon. Manager clear the ball there, so get it out of a dangerous position. When you've got a ball to drop down, bounced right up into the air, clear it again. Seem to be doing a lot of that in this particular game. But it's in, it's right in our half now, so we are under the under, under pressure a little bit. Again, got, got rid of the ball there. Uh, we're advancing forward. Trying to get it into their half, put them under pressure a bit. But uh, there's not many of, many of my teammates in my half with me. He does come forward there, he's using the Merc. Got a boost at the moment either, so... Yeah, it's quite crit critical for you to have a boost, because it makes all the difference. Uh, honestly speaking. Still in overtime, approaching... Uh, one and a half minutes, and it's clearing the ball yet again there. And now we can hopefully go on the offensive. I'm gonna go for the shot. Unfortunately, though, did not result in a, a goal, and it was just considered as me centering the ball, <laughs> which is a bit of a, a bummer if you ask me. Let's get that ball out. I thought it'd be better to put it up the pro as well instead of leaving on semi pro, even though I am a, only a uh, semi pro on this account that I'm using, but uh, I, I feel it was a bit too straightforward leaving it on that difficulty, as you did see in the first episode, so make it much more challenging, obviously I bumped it up a little bit, and it's Fury, it looks like he's got the defining touch, and after two minutes and six seconds, we all pushed forward on my team, looking to get, uh, get a goal, and the Cyclones have managed to uh, steal it under our noses, and uh, Fury getting the overtime goal, and that gives them the win, in that game, I get the Brun Hilda as a common top that I can cup to my car if I want to, but I'm not going to. A uh, bit of a bummer, let's see where that puts us in, in the table. And uh, yeah, not the result we were after, obviously, but uh, Fury getting the defining effort that wins the Cyclones the game. So this stadium is called Neo Tokyo, and it is raining here in the final game of this episode against the Rebels, the team in third place. But it's third against fourth in what will sh surely be a very entertaining match in this Rather uh, cool looking stadium if you ask me. Castle looking the same as they were in the, in the previous game. No changes made there. But uh, I feel this will be a lot more uh, of a harder challenge than the previous game with them being above us in the league and only having lost once in comparison to us losing twice. 
But you're literally just stuck in a... Uh, the heart my half at the moment. I think one change is obviously to the car thing in this particular uh, in game. I've got, I've got I've got the pheasant on top of my car on the Turkish flag. Right there. I'm not sure who it was like in the first game, I can't actually remember. As I was talking though, Tex made it 1-0 to us. And I got a first touch right there. So, uh, things going as they should be at the moment, but can't get complacent or anything and just say we're going to be confident and happy that this one goal lead is enough. If we can get a few more, that'd be great to see. And hopefully we can move to third place. Uh, but, so got over, over four minutes left to play in this game. I think I have a chance here, but Heater providing a, a vital save, but it wasn't enough, and I was nowhere near the action really to stop it and band it on their team, making it 1-1. One, one. Our lead didn't last very long, which is a shame. Right over the ball I went, as uh, we all literally went to charge for it. Tex being the saviour there, getting a ball away, and then Heater properly getting in away from the goal. I think, I, I think they, they've been more on top, on top of the, on top of the ball, than we have actually. But uh, we managed to get one lucky break at the start to take the lead. Oh, we are going to hold on uh, uh, and ho hopefully cement this one-one uh, 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 status in the game at the moment. But almost went in. I don't know how it didn't, and luckily the rebels managed to survive and hold on for now. So one one at the moment. Heater going for the ball, although he wasn't successful in his attempt. And before and before I can get to the ball, a player on their team called Dewey managed to get there and stop me. And uh, fortunately, it was Dude who made it two and right there. I don't know if I scored on goal or something, or was it his touch? And uh, it was indeed Dude scoring that made it two one. So here we are. Got to pick ourselves back up now because we are losing. And make sure I stay back actually this time instead of just charging for the ball. Definitely seen the difference in it being on pro and it than it being on Sari Pro as Poncho makes it three goals to one. Yeah, this is not going to plan actually. I've, I've only got five points um, in this game at the moment. Uh, I, and yeah, like I just said, I can definitely tell that we're playing against professionals in terms of their difficulty as Dude scores another goal, his second of the game and he can go for a hat-trick as, as it's now 4-1. I don't know what's happened in this game. We started off so strongly and it's literally all just fell to pieces. Uh, yeah, and again, in this game I felt like a bit of a bystander, not really being able to do much. Maybe I should drop it back down to Sari Pro. I mean, do let me know if you think it's nice watching uh, the game like this and everything. It being on Pro. I managed to get an assist where I was talking and he to made it 4-2. We've still got time to get back into this game, so um, another goal for us and I, I think we can start believing we can perhaps get a draw. But um, we need to score pretty quickly as time is ticking down on us. Got a chance here to possibly score Bandit though right on the line for them and being the saviour. Did kind of shot a goal for me though, which was nice to see. Although it was a pretty amateuristic effort, if you ask me. We're piling on the pressure now though, which is nice to see. Showing uh, more signs of us wanting this than them. They're pretty much sitting back and you know, I'm not really surprised that they are with the uh, two goal advantage they do have over us. Tax coming forward there, he's managed to um, get the ball out of a dangerous area and we can advance forward now. Bandit though, damn. Just getting in the way, just before I was about to shoot. It would have made me look good if I scored there. But it's Heater who scores his second goal of the game with 1 minute and 22 seconds left. We are possibly in with a shout here of getting a draw from a game that a minute or two ago looked like we was completely out of. But let's not get too confident or anything yet. Really, I mean, he was on the line, mate, and you, you couldn't even stop that. I was not nowhere near to, to provide any support. But he, he just reversed, and then just he's like, mm, do I want to go for the ball? Actually, no, I don't want to. And uh, I don't know, is Tex a, tex a, a fault there? I think so. So uh, that one goal, uh, the deficit that we had to try and uh, crawl back is now back down to two. Back up to two for them. 
and uh, we, ha we are back at uh, square one. One minute remaining in this game. I think we can be proud of ourselves. We've managed to come within a whisker of getting back into the game, though. But I just don't, don't get what Tex was doing right there. No, why he didn't jump or anything. I mean, he just thought, mm, I'm going to reverse instead. I think that's a better idea. Yeah, it turns out it wasn't, which is, uh, which is annoying. At least we provided some sort of uh, help to, to our team. We did manage to get an assist in this game, which is good to see. Peter, the guy who's. Uh, or the car, sorry, that scored uh, two of the two of our three goals we've scored in this game. This, and uh, they're on the attack right here. Okay, but you're not to concede again. And uh, fortunately, well, I wasn't after it did actually occur, and it was Poncho with 16 seconds remaining in this game. Out of luck of the replay, he managed to make it six goals to three. Actually, it wasn't. It wasn't him. It was an own goal by none other than Tex. So Tex might have scored a goal and got an assist in this game, but his defending has been pretty woeful. And uh, even though we did say he did go as Poncho's goal, uh, it was an own goal by him. And actually, I think I did score an own goal as well. Well, when they said Poncho scored it, or Dude scored scored earlier. So yeah, might might be even a shot to make it six four, but it wasn't meant to be. And Rebels are the winner in that game. I think we probably just go back to being in full position right now. Definitely uh, telling the difference between Cyber and Professional. I got a Jolly Roger as my new item, and uh, there is a stats right there. Only one assist and a shot for me. And uh, only player doing worse than me in terms of the score was Chipper in that game. So anyway, that's the end of week five. We will be facing Skyhawk to the start of the next episode. So they've won all of their five games that they've played so far this uh, season. We do hold on to fourth place somehow. And uh, the Rebels now uh, a few points ahead of us. Uh, we've, got bit of, we've got a bit of work to do f to be able to cement this top four position that we currently do hold. Anyway, that will bring an end to episode three of my Rocket League season video for today and this particular Monday. Look forward to this being uploaded next Monday. Uh, it probably will be. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Take care of yourselves. I've been Anthony Turk. Thank you for all watching this video. Link in the description will take you to all the other videos in this series so far, including this one. And uh, yeah, peace. Yeah.